What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Vulcanoids, a game that I'm having a blast with. I'm really, really glad that I waited on this one. I've had this key for like a year while the game was like in early, early, early access and whatnot. And like I'm super stoked that I waited. Like there's something to be said about the fact like sometimes when I get games like a year early or two years early, like they're in a primitive state and they're just not like fun yet. There's something just like good about diving into a game at 1.0 and finding that it's like put together and everything's working out okay and everything's working the way that you expected like... It's pleasing to me. It's pleasing to me. I will probably refine a lot of this shit off. So let's go ahead and, yeah, we're repeat producing ingots right now. We have no materials? How do we not have any materials? Oh, it's because we're full up on storage, yeah. So we need some more storage modules. Although I think I can get away if I pull those out, and I pull out the grenades, and I put them in the locker instead. I think that'll clear out some space. Not a lot, but it'll clean out a little bit. I've got the grenades. I've got all the stuff that it wanted for the quest. Let's talk to the captain. So we've got to deactivate a lava source. It's time to let the cogs know that they are not alone on this island anymore. Travel to the lava cave and destroy the laser drill ship. Make sure you brought enough grenades to take it out quickly. Destroy all the modules at the base of the crane and it will collapse. Time the attack well and your effort will be wasted if you withdraw because of a coming eruption. Okay. So we need to go to lava cave 1011. So we need to go... Set target to 10 or 11. Alright, let's go for it. We got a war to wage, everybody. We're going to knock these guys off of our island. We're going to reclaim it for the homeland. Rule Britannia. Britannia rule the dirt. I don't know if we're Britannia or not, but it, it feels like we might... It feels distinctively as though we might be English. You know what I mean? Like, steampunk stuff is always kind of, like, Englishy, And so it's always kind of Victorian. And so I'm making some assumptions right now. They might be dangerous assumptions, but assumptions nonetheless. Uh, we should be coming up down here at the lava source, I think. So we've got one, two, three, four, seven. What is that, a research technology? I may have to check that out. We've got a production technology and a refinery technology over there. That seems like it might be an okay plan. That's not open right now, but it should be good to go. The landing site is occupied by a drill ship. Select a different number. Okay. We'll travel to 11 then. It sounds like we've got an enemy drill ship right above us right now. It's too bad that we don't have, like, land shark torpedoes that you can fire, like, a torpedo that digs through the soil with, like, little diggy arms. It looks like a bullet bill, but it's got, like, little chainsaw arms on the front and just digs through the soil. Oh, here we go. We're breaching. Brace for impact! Oh my god, we're like inside of a cave right now. Oh my good lord, baby Jeebus. I didn't realize we were going to be like, I thought we were going to be outside the cave and then go into it once we deployed. We're actually coming up like inside this beast right now. Crazy. Alright, so the drill ship is apparently under attack. We need to destroy all this stuff over here. We have about seven minutes to do it. I like to make things interesting. I like it when I'm on a time budget. Let's do it. All right, so we got some robots over here. Let's wipe them out real quick. I'm not gonna take their scrap metal until we're ready to get out of here. So how much damage do I have to deal to this thing? I suppose we can try a grenade. Is it working? Can't decide if it's working or not. Yeah, let's throw one over there, too. Well, I can't really decide if it's done and finished off yet. It's looking pretty injured, but I'm not positive that it's dead. I don't know if that's dealing damage or not. Let's go back and make some more grenades real fast. Something else that I can throw at this thing. 
It's definitely not destroyed yet. There's a turret on that side too. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. We will keep that in mind. I'll probably try to draw back the little robot guys. And once we draw them out away from the turrets, we'll go ahead and light them up. All right, let's get in here and production module. I only got like five minutes left. Yeah, just make that like endlessly. And then over on this side, I'm gonna need some grenades. Yeah, just make me a whole gaggle of grenades. And then we need more tubes. All right, so I need some tubes. We'll queue those up to like 15. Those tubes and plates. All right, we'll keep making them. That's more grenades. Let's see what damage we can deal here. It seems like it's going to take a lot of grenades to get this done. It seems like we're going to need a grip of grenades in order to make this happen. I would guess we probably don't want to be in here when the eruption goes off, though. Let's leave those little dudes alone over there. I wonder if our damage stays concurrent or if they repair it while we're gone. Oh, there is a module on the side right there. I missed it. There it is. It's on the left-hand side. It's not destroyed. Perfect. So we got to destroy all the plating on each side. That makes sense. Now that I understand the mechanic, I think we should be able to do the next one a little faster. I'm not trying to get shot today. Thank you. No, thank you. I do not desire any robot cookies. Yeah, take the power plant. We'll probably need it later. Take that stuff too. Oof. I don't know how much damage this thing can take, but hopefully it's not much more. I gotta heal. Four minutes remaining. I may have to fall back on explosives. Let me destroy what I can over here. Yep, get rid of all that plating right there. Heal up again. Three minutes. Damn, dude. We gotta hurry this up. We gotta hurry this up. We gotta make this a little faster. I was gonna say, I need you to, like, stop overthrowing that. That'd be great. Alright, so that one's busted. Now I gotta figure out how I get to the other side. This is definitely gonna be a close one. This is going to be a very, very close one. Like, if we got to come back in for another assault, that's okay. I'm not that upset about it. I got enough shotgun shells for, like, everybody. Oh, okay. So, it packs up and it recedes. Oh, okay. Makes sense. All right, well, let's bail back inside real fast for safety. Uh, we got plenty of crafting to do anyways, so no harm, no foul there. There's also some resources around here we might be able to make use of. There's a lot of sulfur and things laying around. Nothing on you. Can I harvest you? No. I think we're all right. I think I'm, like, inside the earth right now. Feels weird, man. Feels weird. Feels not normal, my dude. Feels not normal. A state selector. Don't really need that. Grab some of this sulfur, though, while we're in the neighborhood. All right, and then we'll dive in just a minute. I love all the moving parts in this game, man. I love how the actual laser extractor, like, recedes into the ceiling, and the game has so much movement, and it feels very alive. Even though, like, it's, a, it's obviously a game that was made, like, on a budget, like, everything that needs to move in order to convince you that, like, the world is alive and hostile or whatever exists. Are we under attack right now? I believe we may be under attack. Did you get him? Oh, yeah, looky there. We got him. Okay. Let me check him for loot real fast. He's got some uh, copper bolts on him. Sounds good. I'll take it. Anything that makes my survival a little bit more likely. And with storage, we'll go ahead and throw those in there. A little bit more sulfur for the pile. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. 
Yeah, just keep producing whatever it is you need to produce. I'm not against it at all. Throw the ingots in there for right now. I'll probably need another couple storage chests too, just to like make like an equipment rack over here on that side. So we have no materials for that, however. Oh, we got 45 seconds. Let's dive real fast. Yeah, go ahead and dive beneath the soil real quick. Yep, 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 yep. We'll be fine. No biggie, no harm, no foul. Alright, we're safe again, so I'm going to pull this thing back up towards the surface, and as soon as we emerge, we'll hit that last little piece over there. Dude, I love this. I Look at that hallway right there, dude. It's so rad. I love the way that if you don't actually, like, go to the cinematic view, you can actually be inside of the ship while it's breaching and whatnot. I mean, kind of, I guess. There we go. Now we're back on it. All right, bring us up. We're going to put that on repeat for right now because I need more copper. How many nades do I have? I have five grenades. It's going to have to be enough. It's going to have to be good enough. So the laser extractor is back down. My guess is that we've got to go around this outside leg over here if we want to get to that other leg that's holding it up. So let's go after it. Hopefully we don't run into too many threats over here. I don't really feel like fighting a war of attrition if I can help it. Oof, we got contact. We've got loads of contact. We've got contact coming out of our ears right now. Let's lay them out real quick. I was trying to mine some sulfur. I was out here. Oh, I needed that chest. Nice. We got something that we actually needed for once. Good. What do you have? More shotgun shells. I also would love to have that. All right, so here's our little path downwards. I was trying to gather some sulfur while I was in the neighborhood, but the robots are over here just being kind of little salty bitches about it. They're being little assholes about it, all right? Like, how dare they stop me from destroying their home? I'm gonna jump over to... Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. So after our mishap with the lava, I think I'm going to go around the long way this time, just to be safe. I thought maybe I could jump to there and then go up the ridge, but I was very, very mistaken. Yeah, there wasn't any chance in hell we were going to make this in three minutes. This is a long hike over here. Oh, and there's also another drill ship over here. Funsies. I'm going to come back for that later. I don't think the, the drill ship is tangibly a target right now. I kind of want to wipe out the extractor first. Since that is ultimately our objective. Alright, so they're down. We got some shells left, but not a lot. I'm gonna grab a few more copper bolts in here and some scrap. Let's see what kind of wreckage we can cause. Yeah, just throw a nade at it. It's just easier. There we go. So that's wiped out on that side. Wiped out on that side. Oh, it fell into the lava. Nice. So the laser is officially destroyed. The quest is finished. So now the cogs... Apparently the robots are working to keep the volcano active and to, like, keep us out of here. Did that drill ship dive? Oh, it did. I think they bailed. They didn't want any of this mess. They didn't want any of this function out here. Oh, there they are. Never mind. They're coming back. They're coming back. All right, giant drill ship. Let's do this thing. I've come to loot the... Take all of thy treasures. Storage chest right there to replace the one that we lost. Kind of wipe these little dudes out too. I wonder if they're powered by the lava and that's why they want to keep the volcanoes active. I'm just saying, diplomatic style, like we might be able to make friends with these guys. Is it, like, super well advised? Like, no, but we could break that door open real fast and see what they got in their storage. So they got copper wire. They got coal power plants. They got some turret ammo. Definitely need that. We got radiators. I could use those. I could use those. Don't really need the coal. I'm going to take the radiators just in case. You can have that. I'll take that. They've got 10 module repair kits, which is a lot of module repair kits, if I'm honest. That's a grip of module repair kits. Do they have any chests or anything in here? Refinery station. You now we just gotta pray that this thing doesn't dive while I'm inside of it. 
shotgun shells. I'll, I'll lightly restock from the shotgun shells real fast. They got two segments. What's back here? They've got five more breach replacements. More shotgun shells. I'm thinking I'd rather have the shotgun shells than the sulfur. All right, let's head back to the radio. We got a job to do. The best plot twist for this game would be if after you destroy all the laser extruders, you get an online HUD thing that's like power, low, shutting down, deleting memory banks, and then it turns out the entire time that you were one of these robots right here. That, that would explain why I'm so impervious to gunshots. But anyways, you're one of the robots as you look down at your robot frame. You slowly look back up at the captain. You're like, but why? And then he's like, we've reprogrammed you. Now would you kindly go to the back room? You know, like something like that. I feel like that would be the twist ending that I would be looking for, you know, if I was making this game. So that like at the end, it turns out you're one of these little guys and you've been helping him exterminate your own people for the last X amount of time. Oh, the horror, the pain. I guessed it, man. I bet that's the ending. I bet you. I mean, how else would you explain how good we are at getting shot in the face? We have to be a robot. I mean, we do use medkits on ourselves, but we also know that the robots have medkits on them, so maybe the medkits work on robots, too. We're kind of under attack right now. It's a bummer. There we go. I'll put in a couple of lockers over here. We'll use these for all the shotgun shells and, like, all the ammunition and stuff like that that we have going on. I don't know if these have to be inside the active inventory, though, for the bullets. I think they might need to be for the turrets. It's just a sneaking suspicion that I have. Is that you actually have to have... I don't need a periscope right now. I don't think a periscope is... Intensely useful to me at the moment. I'll put building parts in there. We'll put stuff for warfare inside of there. Got some more bullets right there. I'm gonna throw in a few more of the iron biddies. We'll throw those in there. We got some copper. We've got some sulfur. I do wish that your inventories were all shared. Like maybe that's possible. But I do wish it had like a full readout right here. It says this is everything that's online at the moment. It's plausible. It's plausible. We got bullets left over here. Yeah, throw those inside of there, too. I don't really need to repair any breaches. All right, call the captain. So, prepare the drill ship systems for scraping unwanted items into base materials. We will start building the scrap station and gathering copper scrap metal. All kinds of scrap metal can be found close to buildings and tech structures. Okay. Now let's go to production real fast. And we need to make... That's a drill ship core. No, station off. I do not want that right now. So, in equipment, we're supposed to have a scrap selector. Refinery research scrap station. There it is. All right. So, for this guy right here, I need three copper tubes. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna make like 15 of these guys just so I have them in my inventory for later. Once that's all finished off, I think we could make a strong argument that another production module would be a really good idea too so that we're not bottlenecking ourselves waiting for crafting to happen. Yeah, might be a decent plan. Either way, there's our scrap station right there. It's gonna take us a second to get that done. How's our power supply looking? How much coal do I have left on board? 144? Okay. As long as the coal's still doing its thing right now, I don't feel that bad about it. I do also have coal power plants right here that technically I could drop around to make us a little bit more beefy and have a little bit more coal production. I suppose that's not a terrible idea. Our core slots are filling up though, but I mean, we should be able to restore our... That should future-proof us, I think, so that we don't have to worry about building power plants for a while. We can also fit another storage module, like right there on the ceiling. And maybe a couple more storage modules on this side and this side, too. But that's probably a task for another time. Alright, so we have our scrap station. We'll grab that. Scrap station. I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to put you over there real fast. Uh, the research module. 
Okay. So we need the research station and we need the research module. Let's have a look at this guy. So this actually looks like we can melt stuff down right now, which is good. That's really, really good. I've got like extra banners and whatnot. Item missing. Oh, maybe I don't have banners. Okay. Online storage. Oh, it's because I took them out of storage. That's what it was. They need to be in our active storage. Gotcha. Makes sense now. Makes sense. Fully packed. I don't need the state selector. That's not important right now at all. State selector can go. Okay. So now there's actually like a real reason for us to pick up all this extra stuff. So we can like melt that down. We can melt that down, I think. Or that down. There we go. We can melt that down. I think that's a door and that's a window. I do kind of wish that this is a little messy right here. Yeah, break down scrap for... Absolutely. Just break down scrap eternally for more ingots if you can because we've got so much of them. I've got to produce a research station over here too. So in our equipment, there's our research station. We've already got the stuff for that, so we'll get that started off as well. Refinery station isn't really doing anything at the moment. You know, bang out a little bit more copper too. I don't really care if we go like ham-fisted crazy on production right now. Doesn't bother me for a second because we have so many power plants that it's just like, why even panic about it? I think we're good. Can I actually control the turret if I wanted to? Where's my little turret station at? I wanted to see... Oh, uh, we can power it down, but all right. I need more storage modules. That's a bummerowski. All right, well, I mean, that's over there. Let's go back over and we'll check. And we're full up right now. I've got the extra periscope. Don't think I need that. What am I looking for here? Copper plates. We've got the periscope. I can pull that. Research station is done. Let me check my other storages. Take the research station, obviously. Like, I think it is showing everything that's inside of it. It's just doing it in, like, a weird way. Yeah, I think that's the object itself. And this is the items that are available to the online inventory right now. Okay. I'll probably break down some of the module repair kits, too. We'll make those, like, as we need them. I don't think it's going to be intensely important right now. There's our research station. I also need a research module, though. Uh, let's maybe make a few more, like, storage modules, possibly. I need a chest in order for that to work, but I already deployed my other chests. So... Let's make two of those. Yeah, let's take those real fast so they don't end up in the other inventory. And then for our... Module menu, we'll make two more of these guys. Online storage is full. Apparently that's not counting for me right now. That's not counting. I think I'm gonna have to melt some shit down. I'm not gonna have a choice. All right, scrap station. I'm gonna need you, scrap station. To like melt down all of those that we've picked up. Runner attack again, which is loverly. Man, who knew that this would be so difficult? All right, well, I'm going to take out the grenades. Over here for these, we don't have chests. So I got to put the chests in storage so that I can expand this out further. There we go. Get it done. Get it done. I'd like to have these placed before the next eruption goes off just for safekeeping.
All right, so those are finished off right there. Take both storage modules. And I can put one on the ceiling right there. And I can put one right there. Although I'm probably going to need a step stool to get up there. But we have more inventory slots now, so hopefully we'll be okay. Now I need to go back to... We've got that. And I need modules. I need a research center. So there it is. Let's bang that out real fast, and then we'll put it on the wall behind us. And I think that's about all the time we're going to have for today here at the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Vulcanoids. Appreciate you guys stopping on by. It's been really, really fun. I like this game a lot. This game is, like, scratching a lot of itches for me right now. But... Time is limited, so hi to everybody, and I'll see you next time.